Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this particular video, we're going to learn a slightly more complex way to set up a command, your own command, or a macro inside LaTeX. In particular, we're going to learn how to make a command that can be used to format words. So, I've already explained how commands work in a previous video. Basically, they're ways to save you time by having some pre-written code that is saved. I compare them to macros in Excel or Word, for those of you who are familiar with that. And of course, for those who are more into computer languages, they're very similar to functions because they always do the same thing to whatever input you give it. Um, that's how they work. So we're going to go ahead. In this one, we're going to make a command that will um, italicize a word. Again, it's not an amazing um, example, but you know, for our purposes, it provides a practical demonstration. So I'm setting up my document class here. Um, I'm going to call it article again. And we need to put one thing in the preamble, and that is essentially the new command that we're going to make. So see if you can watch carefully what I'm doing. So first we use the declaration new command. And then after that, we have to give a name to our actual command. So what is this name going to be? So for our purposes, we're going to use forward slash mod. Mod is just short for modified. That's where the brilliance of that name comes from. And after you put the mod, you have to put something in the square brackets. And we call this the argument. Um, and the argument works specifically with the, what do you call it, the uh, definition or to, to do something. So in this example, we're going to use the number one. You can use up to one through nine. That's how it works. So after the arguments, then you have to put the actual definition. This is what exactly the um, command will do. And so for our purposes, we're going to use the text IT because we want it to italicize. And then we're going to put our number one in here like so and do that. So here's what's happening in this particular example. We have the declaration new command. That's how we make our command. The actual command itself is forward slash mod the what do you call this again the argument is one and then over here we got uh right here we have the actual definition of what it does so what's happening here is that the the command uh mod is going to take whatever uh word i give it and it's going to apply number one to it and number one basically stands for italicize it that's what's kind of happening i know this that's kind of strange to understand what's happening here but what's happening is that essentially this number one and this number one are working together. Um, this will make more sense when we do an example where there are more than one argument. It'll become clear. So after doing that, I need to go ahead and begin my environment here. Like so. And then of course I love to end my document immediately. Now we're going to put our actual text inside our, our document environment. So it's going to be a very simple text. I love this. And then we're going to put our little friend here, channel. That's it. So what's going to happen, or which hopefully will should happen, is that the mod command, which I created here in line number two, it'll italicize the word channel here. That's why I put channel inside the curly braces, because it's inside the braces that the command applies. So having done this, I format it, and you can see right here, I hope this is nice and big for you, that we did it. I love this channel, and the word channel is in italics. Very, very simple, very, very basic. Now, there's also a way where you can have more than one option, or more than one argument, if you will, inside your um, new command. And this is where it really gets kind of confusing and you have to kind of watch closely. I need to modify my text like slightly here, especially in line two. So in line two, you can see here I have forward slash new command, curly braces, forward slash mod, and then square brackets, one, and then et cetera, like that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change what's inside the first square brackets. Instead of having a one, I'm going to have a two. So this means that now there are going to be two different ways that we can potentially modify the text. I know this is confusing, but work with me here. And so what we're going to do here is, after this first set of square brackets, we put a second set of square brackets, and we set square brackets, excuse me, and we have to put a default argument or a default option for what's happening here. So this time we're going to do B1. 
BF series. This means we want to put it in bold. And then we need to modify this. I'm going to remove this stuff right here like so. And so I removed that and I put the double brackets like this. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping that I can make this clear for you. This is what's happening. We still have our declaration new command. We still have our name for our new command slash forward slash mod. But now here we have the um, arguments for two and the default argument is BF series. In other words, if we don't specify something else, the LaTeX will automatically bold whatever is inside our curly braces here uh, inside line number four. However, if we specify something else, it'll use number two. Now notice how number two has no options here. That means number two can be whatever we want. So we have two things we can do. We can either one, we can uh, have it go to the default of bold, or we can do number two, which is you know whatever we want. And so if I run this, you can see first is bold because I didn't put another optional argument inside my command here. So now it says I love this channel is in bold because that is the, the, the default option or the default choice when you run the command that I made. Now, if I wanna do something different, let's say I wanna italicize it. So I use this, whoops, excuse me like so, so now I want to italicize it, so I use the IT shape. I hope this works, let's see what happens. All right, now it's in italics. Now why is that? Because after I set up my actual command, my mod here, I told LaTeX that, hey, BF series is the default, but if I put something else here, it'll do that instead. And so when I use my actual example, instead of it going to the default of, of BF series, which is my number one, it went to number two, and number two can be anything I want. So we did italics instead. And so this allows you to um, do many different things using just one uh, command, if you will. Now I know that that's complicated and it doesn't make sense unless you're a little bit more familiar with you know, how computers work and you know, the, the ability to switch, which is, kind of, which is kind of what's happening here. So in this video, we looked at how you can make a command that has several optional arguments for the purpose of formatting. Um, we uh, you did this by creating the new command using a new command declaration. We gave a name to our command, and then we also gave it the number two. Now, in the first example, we did a one. Uh, I know, and that was because there was only one choice, and then we put what we wanted to do. But in this second example, we had it to where there was two potential choices that they could choose. The default one, which is BF series, or to bold it, or the number two, which we didn't specify what number two does, which allows us to put anything we want there. And so in our actual example here, the second example we were able to use inside the, the square brackets IT shape to make it in italics. This is the beauty of LaTeX in that it allows you to have these many different functions and arguments. And I know that this is kind of somewhat unclear, but this is standard practice and commands can be much more complicated than what I am sharing with you in this particular video. So we hope that you're able to understand and appreciate something from what we did in this particular video, and we thank you for watching. Take care.